So we now have the surprise release of Oblivion Remastered. And this is unfortunately a Windows only game. So you can't actually play it on an Apple Silicon Mac easily, except through a translation layer called Crossover. So Crossover version 25 is able to play this game even though it's a Direct X12 title. Just be aware that you're gonna to have to be using a pretty beefy Apple Silicon Mac. So I do recommend that you use something with at least 16 gigabytes of RAM. And if you have more, then it's gonna definitely help. Here on my M3 Max MacBook Pro, I'm already exceeding 16 gigabytes of total system memory usage. You can see this on the top right hand side of the screen. Because Apple Silicon Macs use unified memory and video memory is also included in this, then the game might run substantially slower on machines with only 16 gigabytes, so probably 24 gigabytes plus is preferable for this particular title. Nevertheless, if you can get this game running on your Mac, then this is well worth it as this is one of the best Elder Scrolls titles with a huge expansive overworld and completely remastered graphics. Of course, the original game is the 32-bit DirectX 9 game, which can't run on Apple Silicon Macs very well. So if you wanna play the original title, I recommend using something like Parallels or VMware Fusion in order to virtualize this 32-bit game. But the fact is this game has been remastered for the modern age. So it's a 64-bit game with an Unreal Engine 5 wrapper delivering all of the graphics and new bells and whistles, including ray tracing. So if you have an M3 or M4 Mac, then you can make use of ray tracing hardware and make this game look beautiful on your Mac. So in this video today, I'm gonna to be showing the full tutorial on how to get this up and running. So we're gonna be installing the translation layer called Crossover 25. We're gonna be configuring the graphics settings, we're gonna be making use of D 3D Metal, we'll be configuring M-Sync, and basically gonna show you the entire process of getting this game running as well as possible on your Apple Silicon Mac. Just be aware that if you have, say, an Intel Mac, then you should be using something called Bootcamp. I'll leave a link to this in the description. But if you've got an M-Series Mac, like an M1, M2, M3, or M4, or anything else like that, then this is gonna be the video for you. So now, without further ado, we're gonna start the tutorial for getting Oblivion Remastered running on your Mac. So first thing to do is to click on the link at the top of the video description. Every purchase made after clicking this link is gonna help to support this channel and the content that I create. So once you've clicked on the link in the description, you'll be taken to the store page here with the discount automatically applied. You can actually do a free trial if you wanted to, but if you did want to purchase this, I do recommend buying Crossover Plus. This isn't actually a subscription service. It's actually going to give you a permanent license for Crossover 25 if you buy it right now and any version of Crossover released in the next 12 months. But what you can do as well is click the Try Now button and make use of a completely free 14-day free trial. So just go ahead and enter your name and email address and then click to download the trial now. So here it's saying Crossover is now downloading and it's going to go into our downloads folder. So then we're going to go ahead to Finder and then we're going to go to our downloads folder and then we'll find the crossover zip file, which we'll double click on. And then once that's extracted, we're going to drag and drop this into our applications folder. And then within applications, we're going to scroll down until we find crossover. And then we'll double click on the application here. So just double click on that. And it's saying here, crossover is an app downloaded from the internet. Let's open it up now. So now Crossover has opened up and we're now free to go ahead and download a multitude of Windows games and applications. What we're gonna do now is to download Steam. So we're gonna click the install button here, do a search for the word Steam, and then click on the Steam icon here. And then we're gonna go ahead and install it. And it's gonna go ahead and create what's called the Steam bottle. And then it's gonna put all of our Windows Steam files in one place. So if it asks to install fonts, just press yes, and then just continue and allow this to complete. You can see it's running some stuff in the background and it's automatically agreeing to all of the windows there. Here we're gonna to agree to the terms and conditions, press install, and we're gonna install Visual C++ here as well, close. And then the Windows version of Steam is now loading up. So just press next here, next, and we're gonna install Steam in the local directory and then click finish, and then it's gonna run Steam. So here we can see that the Windows version of Steam is now updating. And now the Windows version of Steam's login window pops up and we can log in with our Steam account. I'm gonna be logging in using my phone app and I can go ahead and scan the QR code on screen and then we're gonna log into my existing Steam account. And now our Windows Steam library is loading up here and we can basically download and install a bunch of Windows games. Many of them will actually work through Crossover 25. So one tip as well is that if you wanna run any advanced DirectX 11 or 12 games, then we wanna change this graphic settings from auto into D3D Metal. That's gonna select this manually. And I'm gonna change the synchronization from default to M-Sync and that's gonna get the best performance out of the majority of Windows games. So now that the Windows version of Steam is all set up, we're gonna go ahead and install Oblivion Remastered. So we've made a purchase on the Steam app 
and bought the Windows version of the game and I've installed it in its default location. And what I'm doing now is pressing the play button in order to launch it for the first time. It's gonna go ahead and install a redistributable, which is a dependency. Just go ahead and let that finish in the background. And one very big thing to be aware of is that if you're running any Unreal Engine 5 game through the crossover translation layer, then you need to make sure to click on the icon here in order to dismiss this error message, which says that we have known issues with the graphics drivers. Just press no and we'll be able to bypass that. So the first time you launch, it's gonna do what's called shader preloading, which is a form of shader compilation. So this is gonna make it less stuttery when you actually launch the game. So make sure to allow this to run at first. Basically, once you've got through the first few minutes, you're gonna be met with the Oblivion Remastered splash screen here. And you can go ahead and play the Windows version of the game just fine through Crossover 25. So as you can see here, the game runs pretty well. We are running at 1440p medium settings with FSR set to balance mode. The game looks fantastic running on the Mac. Now just bear in mind that the game is running through multiple translation layers, including x86 to ARM64, as well as translating DirectX 12 into the Metal Graphics API. So it's not gonna be as fast as running it on a Windows computer, but it is gonna be playable. We are getting around 35 to 40 FPS, which is to be expected in this kind of beginning tutorial area. Later, when we get to the open world, the frame rate's gonna dip a little bit. It's gonna average about 30 to 35 FPS, which is still very much playable. And this is really great to see because this newer version of the game is actually running pretty well, especially because the 32-bit version of the original doesn't really play very nice with crossover. So this update is very much welcome. Just be aware that at the time of recording, we have some issues with frame generation running on this. So I would advise not turning it on because even if you toggle it on and then off, you're gonna have issues running it through the rest of the game you can have to restart in order for things to go back to normal so don't use frame gen at the moment anyway i hope you found this little tutorial video useful for oblivion running on the mac especially the remastered version i hope you found this video useful thanks for watching i've got lots of other video tutorials on how to get other windows titles running on the mac so make sure to check all of those out i've got lots of them on my second channel which is this one here plenty of other really excellent titles like red dead redemption 2 are now playable on the mac and even though this is a relatively new title in terms of AAA gaming it actually runs really well even on lower end macs and also lots of recent titles for example split fiction the cooperative windows game manages to perform really well we even have support for DualSense controllers and corresponding LED color lights. And there are plenty of other high-end titles that work really well. For example, The Last of Us, both part one and part two, now work on the Mac through Crossover 25, and also titles like Uncharted. So next we have a bunch of new releases. So we have games like Avowed working. So this is the new Obsidian RPG, which is a first-person kind of successor to something like Skyrim or The Outer Wilds, but in a fantasy magic world. And this is pretty much working out of the box running at 1080p on medium settings. And another recently released game is Lost Records, Bloom and Rage. This is made by Don't Nod Entertainment and it's kind of a successor to Life is Strange. So unfortunately, earlier titles in the series did have Mac ports, but this is Windows only, but seems to work pretty well through crossover. And another recently released title, Ninja Gaiden 2 Black, which is the latest Team Ninja release on Windows PC, is managing to run here at 1080p high quality at nearly 60 FPS. So anyway, if you wanna find out any more about crossover games running on your Mac and other tutorials then make sure to check it out. I'll leave a link to these in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.